Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make YouTube banner on Pixlr. So, this is part 2. If you haven't watched part 1, I'll leave it in the description. Uh, this is part 2 of making YouTube banners. And today, I'll be showing you how to make the other banner that I included in my YouTube banner. Um, in my YouTube banner folder or zip file so hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started okay so first thing you need to do is get the zip file that i left the download link for in the description it's this uh var file so after you do the uh, link vertize things and you complete all the steps you will be redirected to the website where you can download this now right click and press on extract here now after you've done that you're gonna have this file right here you 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 will open it and you'll find everything you need from the template to the stuff you're gonna use for this this is the banner we're gonna be making as i showed in the start of the video it's a pretty simple banner so yeah let's get started so as you can see i left a pixlr link in the description click on it and you'll come to this page now press on open image and um, go to where your file is double click on it and press on the YouTube banner template now click on the press open and it will immediately show up right here now after you've done that this is a locked one uh, for those who don't know how to use Pixlr if this lock thing is right next to it uh, it means that you can't edit on it if you want to unlock it just press on the lock and you can um, edit it now I prefer leaving this unlocked since we're not going to be doing anything on this one on like this uh, picture now press on the plus icon again image I mean function okay press on it press on image and then choose this anime background that I put in the file click on it and open it now you want to always have the background on top because as you can see here we can't really see where we have to put this so just put the uh, background on top and um, scale it down to whatever you feel like is the best for me I just had it on um, this and I yep this is like the best way you can also have it in any way you want but I prefer having it like this now after you've done that um, you gotta go unlock this and after you've locked it you click on filters details um, and you go to blur for this one we're gonna put it on 10 so we can have this really good looking um, background now go back to filters uh, details and you're going to go to clarity now put the clarity all the way if you like this way of the having like the background looking like this you can go for it but I prefer it on 20 which is the best to me so this looks pretty nice press on apply and now go to adjust and put uh, a click on vibrance and scale this all the way up so you can have this really vibrant looking um, background now you can have it on 80 it's also good but I prefer it on 100 now press on apply and this is how it's gonna look um, in the thing now I just noticed that I left this empty space right here so I'm just gonna unlock it and just scale it up and Yep, I fixed it. Okay, so lock that again, and you can have two. Uh, so now you will have two lock background, one background, and one image. After you've done that, you go to plus and scroll all the way up to text, or just click on it and press text, and put this under the background, not under the image, because if you put it under the image, then you won't really be able to see the text so just put it above the image 
now double click on it and write whatever you want i'm just gonna type name since my name is really short for this and it's not gonna look good i'm not saying that if you have a short name it's not gonna look good but for me i'm just gonna write name pro to like show you how it's gonna look with any type of name now as you can see here in this font i had this type of font which is right here um this font looks really nice so i also had it in the in the file now what you need to do to get this font is click on the font thing here the font and uh, go to add local font and after you've uh, pressed on that go to the file and press on the font that i have added in the pack now press on it and just press open and it's gonna show up on top i already have it once so i'm just gonna show you guys how it's done after you've done that and now it's in the font click on it and adjust the size to 255 or 100 this font is pretty big so i'm gonna do it i'm gonna like put it on 100 and try to find the middle and yeah this is how it's gonna look now after you've done that you can go ahead and lock this or actually don't lock it yet i forgot to do one step now click on it and go to styles and shadow and put the blur all the way down to 10 okay and put the opacity of that all the way down to around um, 86 this looks really nice now go to color and change that all the way down to black press on ok and this is how it's gonna look now this looks really um not that great so you can just scale up the blur um 17 is good so just leave it at that and press ok um you can now lock it now what you need to do is press on the plus again go to image show all or just image and choose the twitter and instagram um these i really don't know if you have uh, instagram or twitter or any of the social medias but if you have those just click on it and click on both and just put them wherever you want i feel like the best place to put them is right here next to your name like here Okay, so after you have uh, positioned them, just write your name next to each one of them, right here or right here. You can use any font, but I, I recommend you guys to use this font that I left. Okay, after you've done that, after you put both of them, um, you can go to which one you want and go to filters, go to drop shadow, and um, position the shadow in any way you would like. I would recommend you just doing it like this so it can pop out more uh, you can drag down the uh, you can drag up the opacity and press on apply so this is how it's gonna look looks really nice you do the same to the Twitter logo okay so this is how the final product will look just add your name next to it right here and right here so this is how the final look would uh, be like okay so after you're done with this or after you're done with the whole thing just go to file press on save and uh, drag this all the way up to 100 and yeah that's it so press save as save it anywhere you want and save and that's it so yeah that's how you do a banner on pixlr i'll be uploading more of these tutorials uh, in later days because i really have a lot of idea for these or like ideas for tutorials and stuff so if you don't know how to um put, like if you don't know how to uh 
uh, put the banner on your YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube, go to your banner, like click on your thing, go to your channel, uh, customize channel. Okay, after you've done that, just go to uh, channel customization and uh, in cus channel customization, just go to uh, uh, branding go to banner image press on change show all and whatever you saved your banner just click on it and press ok now this is how it's gonna look on uh, view mode this is view mode on mobile this is on desktop so make sure nothing goes after this line right here because if you put this icon in here people on mobile will just see a half of the twitter logo and it's not gonna look good so just leave it at that now press on done and publish and you're going to have that on your channel now yeah that's the whole thing hope you guys enjoyed this video if you would like me to upload more of these videos um please like and subscribe uh, it really means a lot so anyways hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys in the next video peace out